<laughs> Hello folks, I'm Scott Turner So Outdoors. I'm going to be your host on this adventure, this adventure north to Alaska. The land of gold, grizzly bears, UFO stories, and salmon. And we're going to show you how to catch a ton of them DIY style. We're primarily going to fish the Kenai and Russian River for coho and sockeye salmon. And we're going to show you this great property that we stayed at. It's managed by our good friend Derek, who also runs a guide service right out of the backyard. And stick around for the bloopers. They're hilarious. But I think you folks are really going to enjoy this one. There's our rods. Safe and sound unless this guy chucks it in the back of it and snaps them in half. Let's, let's see how this works out. Please be careful. Oh, yep, yeah, he's throwing them. Definitely throwing them. We'll never see those again. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, Dude, this is pretty sweet. You know what works really good? Is you don't put your reel upside down. <laughs> it's been a long day of Yeah, travel. it's been really long. We've been traveling since 5 a.m. And what is it, 6.30 here Alaska time, which would actually be like 8.30 back home. We're gonna go fishing though. All right. <laughs> We're about to get after it. So in Alaska, we're in Sedotna, and uh, we're gonna go down here and fish in the Kenai. Some guys look like they got a bunch of reds down here, so we're gonna we're gonna mingle. Let's get some. I won't either. Well, bear safety. Funny, those two are snagged on each other. That line. Dude. I got it. Look at this. You know, talk about <laughs> two for one and aisle four. I don't know if I really want this. Scott saw these two fish snagged up together, so he decided that he would uh, hook the line and try to break them free so they have a little better chance to survive. There you go. 
welcome. That's two trips we've been on together. We've saved a life. <laughs> yeah, look at this. <laughs> like someone had some double hook set up. Yeah. How did they have it? I don't know how the other one was snagged. Only one hook. That's crazy. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's awesome. We need something for dinner. I want to eat some fresh salmon tonight. Hey -o. We got a walker. <laughs> no. It is a silver though. Is it a silver? Yeah. Let's see. By the mouth. That's like a puny one. Yeah, he's not big by any means. Is it? Uh, no, it's not. You sure? No, it's not. I've caught three of them. It's not a silver? Uh, no, it's not silver. Dang it. So close. Oh, oh God. Either way. Dude, they don't stop fighting you. Dude, they, these things, bro. It's These not like rip, right? It's not like the salmon back home. You catch them when they're done, man. Right? These things are like, we're going eight rounds in the ring, bud. <laughs> Good cast. There you go. Oh my cow. You got a live wire there. And doubled up. <laughs> Holy cow. Maybe they ate some Mexican jumping beans. These things like don't stop. Yes, yeah, so he doesn't have a black mouth. Okay. Oh, there it is. Came out, came out. Hey, you want to release them? Yep. <laughs> I guess he's a he's a land dweller. Yeah, just just scoop him, just scoop him back in the water. Oh, so now he decides not to run for it. Nice job. Hey, that's your first Alaskan salmon. Yes. Actually, it's good that it was a small one because then you just have you just work your way up to bigger ones. Okay. Gotta start off with little fellers. Here's some silver sitting right at the tail end of this thing, and we're trying to get into those. Sitting with these reds. Salty Dog Saloon. It's supposed to be the place. <laughs> We're gonna wind up fish bait. Oh. What the heck? Dude, have you ever seen so many dollar bills in your life? What the heck? Can I get, can I get one of those, please? But you're but still kind of yeah, <laughs> salty dogs. But you're Maybe still planning crazy. on leaving this winter. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be hard, but I am. Over Alaska. That's right. All right, folks, we're here with Dirk from AK Fins and Feathers, and he's going to talk a little bit about his operation here and all he has to offer. And it's been amazing for us so far, so we'll have him tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so uh, establishment here is located on the Kenai River. Um, been here in this uh, lodging location for now two summers. Uh, been doing my uh, charter fishing for 
13 years and uh, we now have the uh, lodging aspect of it to keep everybody closer to the in-house of the fishing. Uh, you don't have to go and search out your lodging. It's uh, kind of accommodable to get you guys in a cabin, uh, walk down to our dock and uh, get right out on the river. Um, we have uh, season is uh, from May uh, about 15th and we run all the way through about October, well, right around the 10th. Um, and our fishing season usually partic uh, partakes in uh, Chinook and Sockeye um, from uh, May through July. And then uh, August and September, we'll go ahead and get into our silver fishing with, as you guys are experiencing, some yeah. sockeye. That's yeah. uh, that's actually becoming a fishery later and later as our summer gets going here. So uh, it's kind of a bonus on uh, kind of getting into that a little longer than what we've experienced in the years past. There's We've caught what, five species. We've caught Dolly Varden. We've caught rainbow trout. Uh, even caught a couple pink salmon coho and sockeye so there's a ton of fish here there's actually once in a while you'll see a big giant keen eye chinook come swimming by we we saw one the second day we we're here and i thought it was a seal the thing come up beside us and it was just monstrous like you know one of the the kings of old and then i i was going to ask how many uh does the lodging uh, accommodate so we actually have uh four cabins here um in each uh so a two a-frame cabins in our front of our property um will sleep uh three and then they each carry a sofa sleeper so four comfortably be home on the and plane. the other great thing about this property is there's a fish cleaning table right here mm -hmm. and you can spread it off clean it all off nice and good put all your guts in a bucket and right here's a tributary to the Kenai. Go out the end of the dock and dump the remains in there and they go right back in the ecosystem. And that's the great part. The dock's right here. You can get on a charter and mm -hmm. be right on the Kenai in just a couple minutes. Because the Kenai is literally just across this big meadow. We're so close to it. So right in the center of all the action here. Yeah, when you're making your Alaska trip you gotta hit up Derek here at BensonFeathers.com. And we're gonna leave description down below in the video description on how to find Derek, uh, his website, phone number, and definitely hit him up because this is a one-stop shop, like you said. And uh, this is just an amazing property. You'll absolutely love it. Here we go, day three. Silver's here on row. Nice fish. What you got there, Scott? Like <laughs> silver freight train. Check out that fish. Big old Kenai Coho. Awesome. Dude, that is a chunk, man. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, she's got her first one. Well, don't keep going because he's just going to run up there. You got to stop. <laughs> I don't know where you're running to, but uh, I don't know where I'm going. go that way. Get, just get him on the rocks. If he gets off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you can, just drag him up there. You're so slick. There you go. You can stop now. Stop, Forrest. Stop. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. Man, that is a chunky fish. Uh-oh. 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 I got a situation. I'm hooked, honey. Cut it quick, please. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, cut it quick. With a, with a 
hook. Yeah. I don't. Oh. Cut it with scissors. He's off. Oh, okay. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah. Dude, she just buried a hook in her finger. Okay. I mean, buried. Yeah, bad. How bad's the barb on this? Bad. Huh? Oh my gosh, honey. How bad's the barb? It's already up there. Oh, it's... It's Look, it's through there. You oh might, my gosh. You might need to take me somewhere for that. I might have to. Here's the thing, like, it's so far through, like, it's gonna have to go through. I mean... Mm. Like, it's gonna have to go through and then... Yeah. Pinch or cut the barb off. I think we need to get somewhere before I pass out. This is Jess's first salmon on the Kenai, and this is the price she had to pay. Oh, yeah. We are probably doctor bound. It's like all the way through. <sighs> well, it's customary to have a shot when you catch a fish, but when you get a, sh <laughs> you need a shot to the finger with a friggin' hook. Oh, my God. I think the whiskey's more for the pain than celebration, but. Yeah, uh, here we yeah, go. Here's doubling to, up. Here's to numbing. <laughs> All right. Holy moly. It's good. Glad we have this. You will never forget <laughs> your first salmon on the Kenai. I will not. As long as you live. <laughs> All right. Let's go All to, right, the let's go to the hospital. <laughs> good luck. Tell you, as soon as you said Alaska salmon fishing, I was right? Like, I, I hooked. You're like, I'm in. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. There's fish right there. I see them coming right there, Dakota. Oh, silver time. Yeah, I'm gonna get Oh, nice silver. Good hook. Silver. She's like a five-year-old. She moves the fish and just starts backing up, backing up. Man, what's what can I say that's bad about this place? Um, the rain sucked the first couple of days, but we got some great weather the last few days of fishing. Destroyed some fish. We're taking home over 150 pounds of meat. I know that's going to feed my family very well, and I know they're excited for it. Um, it's the first time ever I've caught sockeye salmon and silver salmon, cohos. So I set some personal bests here and I'm excited to come back and I cannot wait to make this trip again. Um, everything people tell you about this place, it's even better than they say. I mean, pictures don't do it justice. Video doesn't do it justice. You have to experience it for yourself. <laughs> up first thing in the morning and head down to the river and just be pulling salmon wild Alaskan salmon from the river and taking that home and filleting it up and making dinner every night these beautiful fillets and also lunches salmon lunch salmon dinner I feel like I've been eating so well and so, I feel so nourished not only to be in this beautiful place that is truly extraordinary but to have the experience like true field to table uh, catching catching these beautiful fish. I've never caught anything like this before. I'm still fairly new to fishing. It's been a um, pretty much an epic trip for me. Uh, totally worth everything to be here.
and doing work. All right, folks, just gonna take a second here to show our simple setup that we're catching these fish. So we're catching cohos, aka silvers out here, and then reds, aka sockeyes. And uh, it's a little bit different the way you catch each one of them, but we're catching both on this same rig, super simple. Same rig that we use for steelhead fishing back in Idaho. This is using pencil lead with some uh, surgical tubing, number seven size snap swivel. And this is the trick you want a long leader, no less than three feet. I got 40 pound mono on my leader and 30 pound on my main line with a two watt gamakatsu. Gamakatsu's owners are great hooks. You want a super sharp hook. If it gets dull at all, swap that thing out. And then we're just using a single egg. We're using soft eggs. So one of the rules here in the Kenai is if you use beads, they have to be fixed. They can't slide up and down your line. Don't know why, but it's rules. So we're getting these soft ones and just attaching it right to our hook. Then I'm using my nine foot lamb of glass, which you want some backbone here. Uh, some of these fish get on that current and you gotta be able to stop them, pull them back in. But as always, we put hot links down in the video description below so you can easily find all the gear that we use in all of our videos. So when you come out here to the Kenai, you're good to go. A big mistake that many fishermen make when they first come to the Kenai River is they cast too far beyond the fish. The majority of the fish are swimming right along the edge about five to 10 feet out. They're just taking the path of least resistance as the Kenai River is ripping along. We got fish on. Doubled up here. Looks like a good silver too. This is my biggest fish of the trip. It's a gorgeous yeah. fish, man. That's a solid silver, bud. Epic fight. <laughs> he's gonna every second of it. He's gonna taste so awesome. Got a good silver here. On the TFO, come on. Yeah, Live action. Hey, oh. Oh. <laughs> that was nice. That's called sniper. That's a beautiful silver. That's a beautiful silver. Check that out, folks. That's what it's all about right here. August on Kenai River. Giant, chunky coho salmon. This is, oh, it's been so much fun. We've been hammering the sockeyes. They had a late run here, and we're already living on sockeyes. Now we're just trying to get our cohos for the day. It's so much fun. We, uh, we've actually caught some, but they just weren't very nice fish. And then I laid in this tanker on my 10 weight TFO, and it did work. It was a battle. And I gotta get a shout out to Cutthroat Trout Leaders and their stuff holds up. Check those guys out.
Kenai Triple right there, folks. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that was awesome. Man, folks, we just killed it down here on the Kenai. This place lives up to the hype. It was so much fun. We caught so many fish. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> if you want to be ruined by catching too many fish, come here. We'll completely ruin you. There's too many fish. There's too many. We've had a blast here, folks. If you folks enjoyed the video, we greatly appreciate you if you subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. In the meantime, get out there and catch your soul out somewhere outdoors. Thanks for watching, folks. Seriously, you can be putting around rubber room for that look. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really hope you folks enjoyed the video. If you did, we greatly appreciate you just subscribing. That's oh, I'm, try, I'm trying to go too fast. I nailed God. it too. I nailed it. That was a good idea. I don't think I can breathe. I'm crying. Oh God, hold on. Are they tears of happiness? No, I'm burning <laughs> from the inside. Oh. You're so strong. God, that was so bad. That was an accident. I thought it was just some. I thought it was some of the seaweed salad. <laughs> it was wasabi, it was a wasabi ball that big. Oh whoops! Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> it's burning like the whole inside of my body is on fire. <laughs> oh, don't you press play on that? <laughs> I did. I know what you're doing. <laughs> First, I'll eat it. I'm not eating it. Crayons. What the fuck is crayons? Not ranch. <laughs> oh, okay. Only Jess would pack potatoes to take home. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to waste. <laughs> Doesn't want to waste food. She's seven pounds over on her bag. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Potatoes and butter. Lord. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Killing me. Today, he's all going home with us. Really hope you folks enjoyed the video. If you did, we greatly appreciate. Dude, I can't get it. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> uh -oh. Lose it? Oh! It was bigger than what we've been hooking. You may get mine in. Welcome to fish in the ocean. You never know what's going on. Come on, shark. Small halibut. What'd you get there, buddy? It is a small halibut. It's a small halibut. What? What the I got it. Bro. <laughs> I got we will it. not be defeated. We will not be defeated. I got a halibut. Can you it's keep that? Yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Dude, what? Oh, we don't it's get the defeated. It's the cutest one in the entire world. <laughs> and I don't care. I got a hell of it. We win. <laughs> we we win, win Alaska, dude. Shots.